Hi everyone, welcome back here to the lab on Bull TV. Your physical game can be the best in the world, but it won't help you achieve success alone. That's why you need the proper tools for a successful mental game. I'm going to break the mental game down in a couple of pieces today and give you some information from the coaching perspective on how to approach the mental game of bowling. I like to start with one of the places that people put a lot of emphasis on, and it has to do with stress management. So we'll put stress management as our first bullet point. Now in our sport, there's only certain things you can control. Obviously your physical ability, what you're doing on the approach, your decision-making process, and there's a lot of things you can't control. How the bowling ball is gonna hit the pins, how that round object is gonna spin off of another round object. But overall, the stress that you create in, in any environment is exactly that. It's created by you and not by exactly what's happening on the lanes. So one of the important things we stress in terms of our sport is only take and understand and manage the things that you're capable of, un of controlling and stay away from those things that are just stressors that get in the way of you performing or executing successfully. Uh, another category that's valuable in terms of mental game and a way to manage stress is through self-talk. Self-talk is our second bullet point. So self-talk is that little voice we use to help remind ourselves how to get back to a calm state and be successful in repeating our shots or inside of competitions. So self-talk for us is going to be a valuable tool in taking any of that stress that we've had previously and bringing it back to a place where ultimately we can control what's going on and we perform at our best. Some examples of good self-talk would be telling, reminding yourself that you executed a good shot or that you made a good choice on the lanes in regards to where you're moving or perhaps which bowling ball you chose to throw. One of the other important areas in the mental game, and a place where it actually happens in our sport, we tend to call the think circle. It's where our pre-shot routine happens. So our next point is going to be the think circle. And that's going to be close to the ball return, perhaps that area just behind the approach where somebody's going to start preparing to step up and execute their shot. Now the thing circles where we want to take all of our mental processing and we want to actually kind of compartmentalize it and make it as simple as possible. We don't want to be overthinking the shot or trying to do too many things in this area. And our pre-shot routine is really what takes us out of the mental game process and puts us into the physical shot routine process. So the mental game is actually going to start to leave the approach once we get out of that think circle and goes right into our pre-shot routine, which is now the physical act of us doing our, our next steps, which are going to be achieving the shot. So in the mental game, we have several pieces. We have stress management, which is taking care of those outside distractions. We have self-talk, which is one way for us to take and clear our minds to try and give ourselves a good direction and a good clear thought process. And then the think circle, which is that area by the ball return we said was going to be where these, this mental game processing happens and our pre-shot routine, which is actually the physical act of getting out there on the approach and getting ready to deliver the shot. All of these pieces together make up a large part of the mental game. And the mental game really, when you think about our sport, has a lot to do with the time that we use because the actual physical act of bowling only takes a couple seconds when you actually pick up the bowling ball to the time you actually deliver it. So the mental game plays a big factor in our sport in preparation for being able to deliver good shots. Pay specific attention and be very specific about what you're trying to do inside your mental game and your game can improve easily just by practicing those routines and getting yourself in the right mind frame. Be sure and check back with us for more information right here in the lab on Bowl TV.